Salamat po. Uh, magandang uh, gabi po sa ating lahat, sa ating mga kasama sa media. Uh, magandang gabi po at sa ating mga bisita no at sa ating mga kandidata. Isang uh, mapagpalang gabi po sa inyo lahat, no? Uh, sa ngalan po ng ating uh, punong lungsod, Mayor Lucido Arbayron, ay lubos po kami nagpapasalamat ano po sa mga participants natin ngayong ngayong gabi ito na talagang uh, sabi nga natin napakahalaga, no? Dahil uh, ito ay 150th uh, founding anniversary natin ng lungsod ng Puerto Princesa. Ang susunod na pinakamalaki siguro is uh, celebrating ng 200. So sabi ko, eh nako, malamang baka wala na ako nun. So napakalaking uh, excitement talaga yung nandito tayo, nagsa-celebrate tayo. Although kahit pa paano, eh, nandiyan dyan pa rin yung uh, pandemic natin. Pero ginagawa po ng ating uh, pamalang lungsod ng lahat, ano? Nang sa ganun, eh, paano mabalanse? Paano matimbang itong ating sitwasyon? So doon po sa mga kandidata natin, no, maraming maraming salamat po sa kanilang uh, mga magulang na talaga nga sumuporta sa kanila at sa lahat po ng mga ka-partners natin ano, ng city government para uh, ika nga eh, matagumpay na may, may, may taguyod itong programang ito. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. So hindi ko na po papahabayin pa. Maraming salamat at magandang gabi po sa ating lahat. All right, thank you very much, Sir Ligad, for that wonderful message. And up next, may we also call on the security manager of U Hotels and Resorts of Puerto Princesa, Mr. Rodrigo Sevilla, to uplift us more with his welcome message. Let us all give him a round of applause. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I saw lot of our faces from the local media here in Puerto Princesa. Uh, special mention to Miss Team Formoso. So, um, hindi ko napahabain rin ito yung aking uh, speech kasi alam ko sapit na sapit na ang ating mga mamahayag na tanongin ang ating mga kandidata and likewise ang ating mga kandidates ay excited na rin para sumagot doon sa mga katanungan ng ating mga media personalities na nandito ngayon. So, magandang gabi at uh, i-enjoy lang natin yung gabi I have two things to say. First is thank you for this rare opportunity to see new hotels and resorts as the official venue of the most awaited event of the Miss Puerto Princesa 2022, the long gown and swimsuit competition uh, scheduled on the 27th of uh, February. So alam ko ito ang pinakahihinte at pinanabika na panuorin ng lahat uh, pagdating sa mga patimpalak ng kagandahan. And second thing is uh, welcome. Uh, welcome dito sa U Hotels and Resorts Puerto Princesa at uh, feel at home and rest back stay rela uh, relax and enjoy the rest of the evening thank you very much thank you as well Sir Sevilla and of course we really appreciate your kind words and also we would like to thank you for welcoming us here to your wonderful place sir and of course ladies and gentlemen U Hotels will also be our official venue for the much anticipated Miss Puerto Princesa preliminary competition on February 27. We would also like to extend our endless gratitude to the U Hotels Group General Manager, Mr. Mr. Christian Cabalia. A round of applause, please. Thank you. And to their accountant executive, Mr. Mark John Rehende. And of course, U Hotel really is the perfect place for family, friends, of course, the business, travelers, and even events like this, like what we are having now. And the U Hotel indeed brings color to leisure. Can, can we give a round of applause to U Hotels and Resorts Quest for Sasa? All right. And now, are you guys ready? To our media friends, are you now ready? All right, thank you very much. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let the battle of beauty and praise begin.
they are to take the center stage wearing very hard walking dress. Together with the reigning Miss Puerto Princesa, Jemima Joy Zapala. Me, Gary Trevi, hopeful vying to be the next Miss Puerto Princesa.
Puerto Princesa Incorporated. Administrator 
office. And I think we are now ready to acknowledge our media friends who are with us tonight. So let's start with... So as I call your name, kindly stand up to be acknowledged. Thank you so much. So we have a Mr. Echo Joel Contravida from Palawan, Palawater. Hello, sir. Good evening. We also have a Miss Celeste Ana Formoso of Palawan News. We also have a Mr. Michael Escote of PIA Palawan. And also joining us here tonight is a Miss Ruth Rodriguez of PYPR Palawan. And also we have a Mr. John Bernard Wanich of RGMA DYSP Super Radio Palawan. Miss Dea Shinkobilan and Mr. Ryan Casimiro of Palawan Daily News. I'm sorry, Miss Ryan. And of course, Mr. Piper Ragusate of Pageantology 101. Hello, sir. And once again, good evening to all of our media friends in the industry. And thank you so much for your gift of time to our Miss uh, Puerto Princesa 2022 press conference. And of course, you guys will also be helping us in choosing the winners of our special awards. And yes, you heard it right. We will be awarding special award with an S. So it's again, special awards. Because later on, for the first time, we will be giving three awards during a press conference. So we have one Miss a Body Beautiful, one Face of the Night, and of course, one Darling of the Press. So the winners of the Body Beautiful and Face of the Night Award will receive a cash and a bouquet courtesy of F FGT Production. And the Darling of the Press will also receive the same prize. And of course, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, at this point in time, I am very honored and privileged to call on once again our reigning Miss Puerto Princesa, no other than Miss Jemima Joy Zabala from Palawan State University. Can we give her a round of applause, please? All right, wow. A lovely lady and a stunner. Hello, Miss Jemima. Um, I will be asking you two questions for tonight, and I think everyone is excited to know your insights and thoughts about this. All right. Thank you so much, sir. All right. Maybe my first question, or should I say this is my first question to you. What do you think are the qualities of your next successor? Wow, that's uh, an interesting question. Good evening po una sa lahat. Sa lahat ng media na nandito, thank you so much for coming to our press conference. Of course, isa po sa hinahanap namin and we look forward to have a queen who has the power to inspire and really to be a harbinger of hope. Yun talaga ang vision po ng Miss Puerto Princesa since the new normal. And after all that we have experienced in the past year, um, we visualize queens who really makes an impact in this time yeah. that it is. All right, so another question. So I think we are now ready to our question and answer. All right, um, another question for you, our reigning and lovely Miss Puerto Princess of 2021. Um, I think, um, what is your message to our Puerto Princess? So since we will be, or this is the start of the celebration of our sesquicentennial or the 150th founding anniversary, of our city. So what is your message to your co the princesses? Okay, first of all, good, good evening everyone, to the viewers, to our fellow Puerto Princesas. Thank you for watching us tonight. And we are happy, of course, that we are, we have come so far as a city and sa loob ng 150 years, marami pong naabot ang city. And we are really happy to celebrate the 150th founding anniversary together with lovely ladies and um, marami activities ang nawala this year starting the pandemic but we are happy na narating ang program na ito to inspire other people and to our dear Puerto Princesses, um, patuloy po tayong bumabagmon in the past year and in the late, uh, in the recent months and patuloy po tayong babangon up until our 150th year. Mabuhay po tayong lahat. 
Wow, thank you very much. Of course, our Miss, our reigning Miss Party Princess of 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, and to all of our netizens in the comfort of their own homes, no less, a Miss Jemima Joy Zabala. A round of applause, please. Thank you so much. Thank you. What a lovely and beautiful lady. All right, proceeding with our program. Of course, we would like to make a special announcement. Since we are celebrating, of course, the sesquicentennial celebration of our city in this very special year, the Miss Puerto Princesa will be starting to crowd three winners to be the next phase and ambassadresses of the organization. And of, and of course, for everyone's information, we will be having a second and first runner-ups. And for the first time, we will hail a Miss Puerto Princesa North Ambassadress from the Northern Cluster of the city. So, uh, and of course, a lady from the Southern part will be crowned as Miss Puerto Princesa South Ambassadress. And of course, the much anticipated and the highlight of our competition, the Miss Puerto Princesa 2022 title. I think you guys are all now excited and most especially all of our netizens. And of course, I am also very excited to know who will be the next successors of our um, great Miss Puerto Princesa, Miss Jemima Joy Zabala. So my question is, who do you think will stand out? Who do you think will exude a charm and intelligence? And I think it's time for us to know them better. But before anything else, let's all watch this. Princesa, headed by Mayor Lucino Arbayron and co-presented by Vinquis Puerto Princesa. In cooperation with U Hotels and Resorts Puerto Princesa, SM City Puerto Princesa, Princesa Garden Island Resort and Spa, Battle Monica, Smart, Globe Telecom, Belgic Central Market and Food Courtyard, Pixis Printing Services, Tatak ni Tatang Printing Services, Motor Train, Kawasaki, RV and Creations, Kuiba Almonica, Print Hub, Jollibee SM Puerto Princesa, Sylvan Pure Drinking Water, South Wind Palawan Edward Hagidorn Patrick Hagidorn Infinite Moment Creations Media Production F Dream Team Production and Media Partners very much to our generous sponsors. This event will not be ever possible without your generosity. And ladies and gentlemen, to make our night much, much hotter, please welcome on stage to give us one sizzling runway showdown wearing swimsuits from Sonny Boy Wardrobe. Without further ado, here are our Miss Puerto Princesa 2022 candidates. Look at me, look at me, look, look at me, look at me. Divine and he's about to regret 
from Rafael Bazuncila and Tanaya Marini Brothers. She was here as first runner-up in Mugliano Bazuncila. Before online classes kick in, she always joins street and hip-hop dance contests in their school. 18-year-old Chanaya also describes herself as a sporty girl as she's very hooked on playing volleyball. Her advocacy is women empowerment. Candidate number three from Barangay Bangkao Bangkao, Blaisel and Natalie Suya. This lady pursued her dream to be an educator and is currently in her second year of taking BS in secondary education, majoring in social studies. Aside from being an honor student, she also works as a part-time promo advisor in a supermarket to fund her schooling. What a strong independent woman in the making. Her advocacy is plastic-free ocean. Number five. From Barangay Mugdurian, Rezil May Hiradoro. Rezil is a self-confessed Papa's girl and eldest among her siblings. This 18-year-old academic achiever visualizes herself as a future businesswoman. She's now taking ABM Strand in senior high, absorbing all the lessons she could learn to fulfill her dream. Her advocacy is women empowerment and gender equality. Number five from Barangay Inaguan, Miss Myra Sabado. Miss Inaguan 2019 Myra is already a dream rapidera at the age of 18. She sells different beauty products online to help her parents financially. Despite having an active online business, she's still hands on with her academics as she takes new strength in senior high. Her advocacy is developing childhood education. Number six from Barangay Irawan, Miss Lou Rimari Ariola and Siete. This 24-year-old charmer believes that if you want to achieve your dreams, be independent enough to chase them. Now she's working as a full-time customer service representative and a call center and served as an assistant manager in a tourism spot and restaurant in the city. Her advocacy is women independence. Candidate number seven from Barangay Kamarin, Princess Joy Rublico. This grade 12 student dreams to be a flight attendant someday. Aside from studies, she also pours her time as the president of Alpha Servers in their local ministry. God-fearing princess also loves to dance and sing BTS and Blackpink songs as a certified K-pop band. Her advocacy is hope for the homeless. From 
but I'm playing this the window and the name short piano. This 17 year old Christine describes herself as someone who's shy but thoughtful at times. She sees herself as a future accountant or a business manager. So currently, she takes ABM stand in senior high. Emily believes that success is not just an event, but it's a process. Her advocacy is senior citizen care. Number nine from Barangay Mabuhay, Miss Julian Jesse Vargas. 19 year old Julian is a first year college student and takes BS in civil engineering to follow the footsteps of her dearest civil engineer uncle who raised and inspired her. Whenever she's stressed in her studies, she finds herself just touching her three lovely thoughts. Her advocacy is environmental awareness. Number 10 from Barangay Macaraskas, Lizelle Sualo. 20 year old Lizelle is a proud member of Persons with Disabilities or PWD. Despite her important orthopedic impairment in the right foot and all the bullying, it didn't stop her to perform well in school by graduating with flying colors from elementary to senior high. She was also crowned as Miss Makaraskas National High School in 2017. Her advocacy is PWD Empowerment. This grade 12 youth student dreams to become a Filipino at Palitican teacher someday for her love and value to our national language. Ronaiza also graduates towards dancing and reading books. They are also fond of sewing garments and fishing nets that their family owns. Her advocacy is women empowerment. Manindana Puerto Princesa Incorporated or MMPPI. Nicole Lindsay Ramos. 22 year old Nicole was crowned with Yana Palenque back in 2016. She proudly represents the vendors of our city public markets, where her family owns a coconut grading business. When she was in college, she wrote for her university student publication and joined several news writing competitions. Her advocacy is COVID-19 vaccine awareness. Candidate number 13 from 
barangay pagkakaisa Sara Rosero. This 23-year-old lady is a first-year college student and takes bachelor in physical education because of her love for sports and dream to become a gymnastics coach someday. She is also an active member of the church. In fact, she was sent to Utah, South Lake, in the USA to serve as a church missionary for 18 months. Her advocacy is empowering families with mentally ill members. Number 14 from Barangay San Manuel, Nestle Joy Galvez. This charmer is a consistent honor student since elementary. Now she's a senior high student under the STEM program. She is fond of reading and studying anything about biology and aims to become a surgeon in the future to treat marginalized people through offering free and quality medical service. Her advocacy is self-love. Candidate number 15 from Barangay San Miguel, Teresa May Bertas. This 19-year-old beauty comes from a family of doctors and fearing to follow in her family's footsteps. She likes to do science-related experiments sometimes. Teresa also graduates to art by painting and drawing whenever she has a spare time. Her advocacy is a student-centric education. From Barangay San Pedro, Maria Regina Males. Describing herself as an adventurous and outgoing person, 21-year-old Maria Regina serves as an active member of the San Pedro Youth Volunteer. Before the pandemic, she also worked as a freelance tour guide. Currently, she's still into her passion for adventure and takes PS in hotel and restaurant management to fulfill her dream to become an international flight attendant. Her advocacy is arising sustainable development in disaster and promoting risk reduction preparedness. Number 17 from Barangay Siksikan, Mais Edica. This pageant first timer is a great 11 STEM student. To help her family's finance, she has a mini online business where she sells accessories, perfume, and other girly stocks. 17 year old Mais loves to dance travel and do gymnastics but at the age of 14 she became interested in skateboarding together with her friends her advocacy is violence against women and children awareness and number 18 from barangay santa lourdes johnny galliano this young lady travels all over the province of Palawan every summer to teach the gospel to children. Every weekend, she, pers she personally gathers out-of-school youths 
in her barangay to share the word of God and establish a livelihood program to support and encourage the lives of adolescents and young parents. 20-year-old Jonalyn finances her own education by getting her to gigs and organize her weddings and the dues. Her advocacy is education. is a third year BS in public administration student. She can be considered as a local pageant veteran by winning several titles like the Canon Buena Vista 2018 and Santa Monica Ambassadors in 2020. Aside from studying, she juggles her time by working as a call center customer service representative, selling sweet win and TK stops online and doing modeling gigs. Her advocacy is awareness in youth empowerment against teenage pregnancy. From Barangay del Ipan, Almera Rosalteño. Twenty-one-year-old Almera hikes different mountains along with her friends all over Palawan. During her adventures, she gets to engage with various indigenous communities. So, in 2019, with the help of her hiking buddies, she turned every simple hiking session into an outreach program by giving free medicines, relief goods, and hygiene kits to the IPs residing in the mountains they hike. Her advocacy is health and education for indigenous people. of Miss Puerto Princesa 2022. First up, that's with from Barangay Bago Pagasa, Barangay Bago Sila, Barangay Bago Bagao, and Barangay Binduyan. And Barangay Inagawan. For our second batch, we have from Barangay Inagawan, Barangay Kamuni, Barangay Los Muminda, Barangay Mabuhay and Barangay Makaraskas. Next up, we are from Barangay Mangingisla, Mga Maninita ng Puerto Princesa Incorporated, Barangay Magkakaisa, Barangay San Manuel, and Barangay San Miguel. from Barangay San Pedro, Barangay Siksikan, Barangay Santa Lourdes, Barangay Santa Monica, and Barangay Pilipibay.
Alright, thank you so much. And of course, before we proceed or delve in to your much anticipated or the highlight of this press conference, once again, we would like to acknowledge our media partners. We have the City Information Office, Palawan Daily News, Palawan News, Alpha News of Philippines, RGMA Super Radio, EYPR Palawan, Radio Pilipinas Palawan, RMN Pilipinas, DCIP Radio Palawanyo, Pageantology 101, Critical Beauty Philippines, Pageantology Philippines, Palawanderer.com, Pedrography, Bandera, and Brigada. And of course, in cooperation with or this Miss Puerto Princesa 2022 and our Balayong Festival 2022 is brought to us by the city government of Puerto Princesa, spearheaded by, of course, our city mayor, Honorable Lucilo Arbayron, and co-presented by Big Keys Puerto Princesa. In cooperation with U Hotels and Resorts of Puerto Princesa, SM City Puerto Princesa, Princesa Garden Island Resort and Spa, Battle Monica, Smart, Globe Telecom, Paljet Central Market and Food Courier, Pixies of Printing Services, Tatak Ni Tata Printing Services, Motor Trade, Kawasaki, RVM Creations, Huiba Monica, Print Hub, Southwind Palawan, Former Mayor Edward Hagedor, Honorable Patrick Hagedor, Infinite Moment Creations Media Production, and F a Dream TM Production. And also, we would like to uh, give thanks to the Office of the City Mayor, Opland Linis Program, City Engineering Office, City Marple, and the City Administrator Office. And I would like to take this opportunity to extend my heartfelt appreciation to Mr. Rodelo Con Conales for my look. And of course, uh, to Santi Lilet um, uh, Makeup Team, to uh, Miss Baba Igual, to Richie Cute, and of course, uh, Tado for my hair tonight. And of course, add to that, to uh, top chat, of course, uh, by Mr. Cleo Dimampo for my award job tonight. Once again, thank you so much. And to all of our netizens at the comfort of their own homes, of course, continue sharing and liking our FB live stream. And of course, don't forget to support your favorite the Miss Puerto Princesa 2022 candidate. And of course, please do not forget to use our official hashtag for today's event, which are the hashtag 150th founding anniversary, hashtag Miss Puerto Princesa 2022, and 80th Balayo Festival. All right, we would like to see your photos, and videos, and stories in the different social media pla platforms, of course, with our official hashtag. All right, I think we are now ready. All right, I am very much excited, of course, to proceed with the next segment of this press conference of 2022. And of course, once again, um, this event is brought to us by the city government of Puerto Princesa, co-presented by the keys of Puerto Princesa. All right. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, you have witnessed how diverse our candidates are. And uh, most of them are fresh faces in the pageant scene, while some are local and that local pageant veterans in schools and barangays. There is an online seller, a COVID-19 survivor, a call center customer service representative, a tourist tour guide, a former missionary in the United States, a representative of public market vendors, a woman that champions education, and a proud a person with disability member. Indeed, these uh, women are role models and harbingers of hope in their own way, all right? And without further ado, all right, ladies and gentlemen, and of course, to our media friends who are joining us here tonight, let's make the atmosphere in the U Hotels and Resorts of Puerto Princesa even more exciting. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, our official candidates of Miss Puerto Princesa 2022.
A round of applause, please. All right. I know all of our media friends are now very excited to give their questions. Yeah, we're 20 lovely candidates. And at this point in time, we will proceed to your much-awaited question and answer portion with our ladies. And here's the thing. So to our media friends, listen very carefully. Each member of the press can choose up to three candidates to answer his or her one question. And you can do one follow-up question if necessary. And all candidates, of course, must have a fair chance to be chosen by any of you guys. And then after the question and answer portion, our media friends will deliver it on which candidate should be awarded as the darling of the press. Should there be a tiebreaker? We have to do, of course, a tiebreaker and ask another set of questions to the top performing candidates. So maybe, of course, um, is that clear to all of our media friends and partners? Can I see thumbs up? All right, thank you so much. And at this point in time, maybe call on the first media to choose her set of ladies to answer his or her first question. All right, I have here my list of our media friends. All right, let's start with uh, Mr. Ivo Joel Contravida of uh, Palawanderer.com. Okay, uh, with the ladies, um, I'll choose Miss San Miguel, please. Makaraskas. And Mabuhay. My question is, what do you think is the biggest accomplishment of Puerto Princesa City in the past 150 years? Ano ang pinakamalaking accomplishment ng Puerto Princesa sa nakaraang 150 years? I personally would, I personally would consider the biggest milestone for Puerto Princesa or the trademark doll called the City of the Living God is the Balayong Park. Some people may question if it is economic growth or economic development. But as a spokesperson and as a student, I consider it to be economic growth because for its long-term benefits, in the future, a lot of business may have, might have opened on that side. And it, as me, personally, as a student, as a child, and also who have friends, we also go there to have fun, to really pensions in life of the trials and tribulations. So for that, I consider it the tourism milestone. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Uh, aside from the tourist spot na, atin, na pinagmamalaki ng ating lalawigan, especially ng Puerto Princesa, para sa akin, ang contribution na nagawa at sa loob ng 150 years dito sa Puerto Princesa ay alam naman nating lahat na isa ang ating syudad at, at, at ang Palawan at ang ating probinsya na isa sa pinakamalinis na syudad sa buong Pilipinas at isa at, at sa bilang isang miyembro at mamamayan ng Puerto Princesa. Proud ako na sabihin na ang Puerto Princesa ay ang isa sa pinakamalinis na na syudad sa buong Pilipinas. Yun lamang po at maraming salamat. Good evening everyone. Para po sa akin ang um, ang 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 um, um, accomplishment na, nag, na nagawa ng Puerto Princesa ay ang pagpapanatili ng kalinisan sa ating ano, lugar. Dahil, kung hindi dahil dito, marami na ang mga tao ang nagkaroon ng COVID-19. Tulad ngayon, iniiwasan natin o nire-reduce ang ating um, ang pagkakaroon ng COVID-19. Kaya, 
Dapat tayong maging malinis sa ating kapaligara, kapaligiran, lalo na sa ating katawan. Tulad na lang ng paghugas ng kamay at pag-aalkohol at lahat ng pagsunod ng protocols. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Thank you so much, Sir Ivo Jawalkan, Kandida of Palawan, your last comment. And of course, thank you so much uh, to our ladies. And next to give her question is Miss Celeste Ana Formosa of Palawan News. Mahirap man po magising sa kwarantina, hindi mo alam kung mabubuhay ka. 
Mahirap man pong huminga, nakasandal ka man sa kama para matulog. Pero dahil sa pananalig ko sa Panginoon, the hope and faith for God and for my family and for my dreams, I'm here in front of you representing myself and my barangay. And I thank you. Thank you very much. so much, Ms. Celeste Ana Formosa of Palawan News. And of course, thank you so much to our ladies. And next to give his questions is other than Mr. Michael Escote of PIA Palawan. Good evening, ladies. Um, question ko ay gusto kong itanong ay bagong uh, pag-asa inagawa at sa talordes. Ito po ang tanong. Why should you be the next Miss Puerto Princesa? Bakit ikaw ang uh, dapat na naging susunod na Miss Puerto Princesa? Good evening everyone. Naniwala po ako na karapat dapat po ako maging susunod na Miss Puerto Princesa 2022 dahil ako po ay terminado at at naniniwala po ako na Good evening po ulit. Karapat dapat ako maging next Miss Birth of Princess sa 2022. Una, dahil hindi lamang panlabas na kaanyuan yung ganda ko, kundi may ganda ako ng panloob. Pangalawa, nakapasa ako sa screening, ibig sabihin pasok ako sa standard. Pangatlo, gaya nga po nasabi ko kanina, masipag ako. At nakikita ko ang corona hindi bilang maging reyna, kundi ito ay isang malaking responsibilidad at gampani ng sino mang makokoronahan sa laban namin na ito. At naniniwala ako na ang taong masipag kayang gampanan ang tungkulin ng isang Miss Puerto Princesa 2022. Thank you. Good evening. Why should I be the next Miss Puerto Princesa 2022? Look at me right now. I grew up with having a broken family and coming from poor family. And I want to share with you, every one of you, I know that every one of you know that the dump site is located from Santa Luya, where I represent it. And I want to be the next Miss Puerto Princesa 2022 because of my trust in myself. Because I have a lot of things that I do. Marami akong bagay na ginagawa para ma ma-protectahan yung sarili ko and at the same time, hindi lang ako isang beauty queen, isa rin po ako kasalukuyan na nagtuturo sa aming barangay because my heart is for those people who are out of school youth. Sabi nga ni Dr. Jose Rizal, ang kabataan ang pag-asa ng bayan. That is why I am standing here in the front of you before I have a part-time job which is I'm hosting some event like wedding, the booth, children's party but I have no longer to do that. Because of pandemic, we need to go. Uh, we need to undergo the protocols that there is no more gathering. But one decision that I made up is to join in this beauty pageant because I know there is a something story that I can share to other people to empower you, to motivate you. And I know that joining in this beauty pageant, it is not about to showcase your physical appearance, but more than that, to share your story with other people, to inspire them and to motivate them. I know that during this time of pandemic, a lot of people losing their hope and I want to be na maging daluya ng pag-asa sa kanila. And before I leave it, I would like to say, you must pray and thank to God that you are living in the next day of your life. Thank you. Thank you so much, ladies. And of course, thank you to Mr. Michael Escote of PIA Palawan. And the next uh, to give her question is Miss Ruth Rodriguez of PYPR Palawan. Good evening, ladies. Ang uh, question ko is for Miss Four Bangka Bangkao, Kamaning, and Santa Monica. Without naming names, what do you think are the qualities of the next president? I believe that all the running candidates now have their own vision for our country. And for me, the qualities of a true leader is someone who is responsible, 
can connect or communicate to the people and also has a good vision for the country. Responsible in a way that he or she can be responsible to his or her action to the people. Can connect to the people because we all know that every one of us in the, as a part of this country is, and, as, as this, and as a citizen, rather, we have our own opinion that must be heard by the government and has a vision, good vision rather for the country because I believe that if a true leader has a good vision or has a good um, plan for our country, we will have a better future and a good or wonderful world. Thank you. Good evening po sa inyo lahat. Para po sa akin, ang mga katangian ng next president to 2022 ay Una, may respeto. Pangalawa, may pusong bukal para sa mga mamamayan. Pangatlo, may tiwala sa sarili. Dahil alam ko yung mga katangian na yun, ayun magbibigay sa atin ng kaliwanagan at, mm, at makakatulong ito para mapauna na ating, ang ating bansa. At, nanini, at naniniwala ako na pag meron siyang bukal na puso, maraming mga may hirap ang hindi na ang magkakaroon ng magandang at alam ko na ang mga may hirap ay magkakaroon ng mga niti sa kanilang mga mata, niti sa kanilang mga puso dahil alam nila na merong isang presidente na kaya silang paangatin sa kahirapan at naniniwala ko na ang mga katangian na yon ay ang kailangan talaga natin ngayon sa ating bansa. Ilaman po, salamat. Hi, good evening. I hope you're doing good today. Well, if you were asking me what are the three qualities that I want to, uh, to uh, that I choose to the next leader in this community, I actually have three. Um, the first one is pro-people. The second one is pro-life. And lastly, pro God, pro people, because I believe the leader should give importance to the welfare of people. I want a leader who give importance to the life, to to the livelihood, provide livelihood to people. Because my parents is actually working in government. My my mother is part of this WB, and it's actually a great help for us. And my dad is um, is a fisherman. And uh, aside from that. I want a leader who who cares more than more than anyone but the people on the community. And second, um, pro life because I want a leader who cares not only for the people but also the biodiversity of our city and also the development of our ecology. Well, I'm actually very happy that I'm living in Puerto Princesa because even though we have pandemic. We are awarded as the most beautiful island in the world by UNESCO. So I'm very happy about that. And I want a leader who can maintain the beauty of our of our culture, our moral, our values, and uh, especially pro that because I believe there is no problem, no pandemic, no corruption, no other problems, no negative environment if the leader put the God in the center of his mission. Good evening. Have a great day. Thank you so much, ladies, and of course, thank you so much to Miss Ruth Rodriguez of PYPR Palawan. And at this point in time, before we proceed or continue our um, question and answer portion with our media friends, I would like uh, to ask or request for the presence of all our ladies who have already answered a um, set of questions from our media friends uh, to please go um, for the meantime, proceed at the backstage. All right. So once again, um, these ladies have already answered the questions from our media partners. And of course, this is also to show a fair share, of course, of our press conference and question and answer portion. So that all of our ladies will be questioned fairly, of course, by our media partners. Thank you so much. All right. I think we are now ready to continue our question and answer portion. And to give his question at this point in time, may I call on, of course, Mr. Francis Arik Machado from the City Information Office. All right, I'd like to ask, um, wait, last. 
Czech Vita Sadzikstra. Pędziam po balansie. A MPPI. Mangi is the Envarung Sila. Okay, most of the girls are advocating women empowerment. For you, what is women empowerment? Empowerment is empowering other women to be uh, independent and no longer rely on others' people's validation or opinion about themselves. And I can consider a woman empowered when she can also influence other women to do the same thing. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. For me, women empowerment is the woman who have a good heart, the woman who get, who have God, and the woman who independently to herself. Everyone, I am advocating women empowerment despite of my imperfection and insecurities because I want to be a voice to all the female out there that no matter what happened, we, as the shelter of community, we are strong and powerful enough to change what we believe in and to focus our goals in life. Because I believe every woman deserves to be loved, to be cared, and to be respect. And I believe I am a girl with a substance. Thank you. Thank you. Magandang gabi po sa ating lahat. Para po sa akin, ang ibig sabihin po ng woman empowerment ay ang paniniwala ng bawat kababaihan sa kanilang paniniwala, sa kanilang kakayahan sa sarili bilang isang babae. And at, at doon na rin po yung tiwala sa sarili na magagawa nila lahat ng gusto nila ng bukal sa kanilang puso ang mga gusto nilang gawin at doon mabubus nila ang kanilang confidence sa sarili o lakas ng loob. Yun lang po at maraming salamat. Thank you girls. Thank you girls and of course uh, thank you Sir Francis Rick Machado from the CB Information Office. Alright. And now, let's have a Mr. John Bernard Winich of RGMA BYSP Super Radio Panawan. Hello, good evening ladies. Okay, I'll pick candidate na yung advocacy is related to women empowerment. Since nagkakaubusan na tayo ng kandidata, I'll choose Siksikan for violence against women and their children. Bindu yan. Irawan, bawala niya. Okay, wala na. Sige, palitan natin. Si San Manuel na lang. I don't have any follow-up question, pero yung question ko nakapokus lang sa isa, pero in different categories or different uh, situation. Given the situation in the Philippines where social issues are being debated by the church, government, and even the public, where different opinions and studies are being raised to support different claims and beliefs for issues such as same-sex marriage, abortion, divorce, and death penalty. My, qu my question is, being a woman and an advocate of women empowerment, are you in favor in the legalization of divorce, abortion, and same-sex marriage in the Philippines? For Siksikan, I'll choose for divorce dahil yung advocacy is for violence against women and their children. For Benduyan, I'll choose same-sex marriage for gender equality. And for San Manuel, uh, hindi ko na-catch up yung advocacy mo kanina, pero for abortion naman. That's okay. five for six seconds. Okay. Divorce po yung diba? Sorry. Yes po, divorce. Thank you. Um, you can answer it in Tagalog kung saan ka comfortable. Isa sa mga inaarap ng mga kabataan ngayon ay kung paano na ipapayag ang kanilang sarili na walang takot na mausgahan ng lahat ang nangang mga nasa paligid. Ang takot na ito ay minsan nagdudulot ng pagkawala sa sarili at depression at mas malala pa ay pagpapakamatay. Ito rin po ay magi, pwedeng 
maging sanhi ay itong diborsyo, no pagkasira ng isang pamilya, dahil ako ay isang produkto ng silang pamilya. Pero nakikita niyo naman ko, andito ko, nakat nakatayo sa inyong harapan, patuloy na lumalaban, at nakikita niyo po, ako ay confident na umaharap sa inyong harapan, at Yes po. Um, Pabor po ako sa divorce kasi po, kung ito lang po ang makakabuti sa isang pamilya, bakit hindi? Yun lamang po. Thank you so much. Miss Biduyan, are you in favor of uh, same-sex marriage here in the Philippines? Yes po. Going to my advocacy about modern feminism. <laughs> Modern Why modern feminism? Because living in a world where patriarchy and gender discrimination exist is hard. Having been told what to wear, how to speak, and how to act like a prim and a proper lady of exhausting. Hearing news about women being abused or women being, not being able to do whatever they want because they are women is heartbreaking. That's the reason why I'm here in the front of you to debunk those stereotypes about women can only do can only do to oppress and to prevent about women from doing the things that they could have done but couldn't do because society told them they can. Because women were just supposed to be a mother, a sister, or a wife. I'm here in the front of you to tell the world that we are the women that women not not able to do whatever they want because women is a because women is a powerful and confident what they doing because they, they, who really are, and, and, last thing, family, family say for the record, because I want to, Kasi yung mga babae, kasi para po sa akin, ang, ang opportunity para may pakita sa bansa natin na hindi lang tayo, hindi lang babae ang dapat, dapat din respeto at inagalang din. Yun lamang po at maraming salamat. Okay, thank you. First, Manuel, are you in favor of uh, uh, abortion in the Philippines? It is um, a very sensitive topic for me to talk about because I was raised in a religious and a conservative family and also a country. I have believed in the sanctity of life, but I'm also aware that we are not perfect. We all make mistakes and we make decisions that results to something that we are not ready to face yet. And I hope that we are all aware that not all women desire to be pregnant at such age, and some of them are sexually abused. So for me, abortion should be legal because motherhood is not a joke, it is a lifetime commitment. Thank you. Okay, thank you. You did all a great job, ladies. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ladies, and of course, uh, to uh, Sir John Bernard with each of RGMA DYS, please to Radio Palawan. And now let's have uh, Mr. Piper Abusante of uh, Pageantology 101. Good evening, ladies. I know all of you are nervous right now, so I would want to choose Miss San Pedro. 
And of course, I will be choosing Miss Tinigiban. And last but not least, Miss Pagkakaisa. All right, so my question goes like this. Uh, I know election is now approaching. So what advice will you give to a first time voter for the 2022 election? Thank you for that wonderful question. For me, my advice to the fellow youth, especially to the fellow youth, is that choose a better leader. Choose a better leader who is prioritized the own sake of the people in the country. And choose the leader who wants to be united as one to make a better solution and to make a good, resilient country for all. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much, Ms. San Pedro. And of course, Ms. Nikibay. By voting, we add our voice to the chorus that forms opinion and basis for actions. So my message, especially to those first-time voters, is to vote wisely. Many years have passed. Our country experienced so many difficulties and uncertainties. So it is important to choose a president that can lead us and give us hope even in the darkest of times. So ladies and gentlemen, not even not just in the first timers, but to all the voters out there, vote wisely because voting is not only our rights, it is our power. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Nigeva. And of course, Ms. Pagkakaisa. Good evening, everyone. So for the first timer, uh, vote. Um, suggestion to po sa kanila is to um, search or something na um, mag, um, search yung mga bagay na mga nagagawa ng mga um, ng mga uh, tatakbo na uh, tatakbo at ipag pray nila yung, yung sa tingin nila na tama na butongin at um, at kumit yung sarili nila to be get uh, a good citizen kasi um, president or yung mga bubutongin nila um, it might be a good leader but you have to be a good follower as well. Thank you. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you. That's all for me. All right. Thank you so much, ladies. And of course, uh, to Mr. Piper Nagasante of Patch Anthology 101. All right. Do we have, uh, or uh, do we still have ladies that haven't yet questioned? Can you please raise your hands? All right. So at this point in time, and to complete the set of course of our media friends and partners, let's have a Miss Dea Shee Kubilan of Balawa Daily News. And of course, she will be questioning our last beautiful lady. Haven't yet uh, answered a question from one of our media partners. All right. Okay, may I call on Miss Luz Biminda? So this is a special question for you. So um, as media practitioners, one of our advocacies is to fight for the truth and live our role as the watchdogs of the government. So my question for you is, as a young advocate or beauty queen, what can you, what can you do to help us fight disinformation, misinformation, or fake news? What can, as a young so, so here's the question. As a young advocate or beauty queen, what can you do to help us fight disinformation or fake news? Good afternoon, everyone. Bilang isang kabataan, maraming kumakalat na fake news ngayon sa social media and sa personal. So kapag may narinig tayong issue na ganto ganyan don't judgment the others because... Um, Hindi, hindi lahat ng, hindi lahat ng issue na narinig natin sa, sa iba is tama. Kailangan natin siguraduhin muna bago tayo makinig sa kanila. Yun lamang po at maraming salamat. Alright, and of course, uh, thank you to our last candidate. And of course, uh, to Ms. Sheen Kobilan of Palawan Daily News. And once again, thank you very much, of course, uh, to our ladies. Wow, that was really tough. Can we give them a round of applause, please? All right. 
our 20 lovely candidates. And I'm back here at the center stage or center aisle. All right. And once again, kudos to our candidates for answering, of course, our media friends' very intriguing questions for them. And of course, we would like to thank our media friends and partners, of course, for the gift of time through their presence for our Miss Puerto Princesa 2022 press conference. Of course, we have Mr. Joe. Ivo Joel Contravida of PalawanDerror.com We have a Ms. Celeste Ana Formosa of Palawan News Mr. Michael Escote of PIA Palawan Ms. Ruth Rodriguez of TYPR Palawan Mr. John Bernard Wanich of RGMA BYSP Super Radio Palawan Ms. Dea Shinkubilan of Palawan Daily News Mr. Piper Ragusante of Pageantology 101, and of course, Mr. Francis Arik Bachado of City Information Office. All right, and of course, ladies and gentlemen, while waiting or while we are all waiting for the result and the media deliberation for the darling of the press award, and of course, uh, to the rest of our special awards. Let us all watch the highlight of the Miss Apuerto Princess at 2022. Give the giving and feeding program for the victims of Super Typhoon Odetta to our Kabayans in Barangay Makaraskas and Barangay Bintuyan last February 14th. Let's all watch this. to one vote. So the one with the most a number of votes will be automatically our Miss SM Shoppers a choice. So again, just to make it clear, purchasing and voting is valid only on the 25th of February. And for our Miss Puerto Princesa 2022 closed door interview, this will be held on February 27th, 8 a.m. at the Hotels and Resorts of Puerto Princesa. This event is exclusive only for candidates, production, and judges. And for our Miss Puerto Princesa 2022 preliminary swimsuit and, of course, evening gown competitions, this will be held also on February 27, 7 p.m. at the hotels and resorts, inclusive of dinner buffet at the Laud Restaurant for only 499 pesos net per person. And of course, the dinner buffet opens at 5 p.m. For ticket the reservation, just text or call at 0917-163-1056 or 0917-163-1055. And for our Binibining Sexy 2022, the big coronation night, this will be held on March 2, 7 p.m. at Mendoza Amphitheater. And ladies and gentlemen, the Miss Puerto Princesa 2022 Grand Coronation Night will be held on March 3, 7 p.m. at Princesa Garden Island Resort and Spa, Harry Hall. And of course, the Talent Night um, Preliminary Competition at Coronation Night for both attentions will be live stream on our Miss Puerto Princesa and City Information Office official Facebook pages. So tune in uh, to all of our netizens at the comfort of their own homes. Continue tuning in to uh, those I have uh, mentioned, the Facebook pages. All right. And I think uh, we are now ready, of course, uh, to um, yeah, give a position to our media friends or who joined us tonight and of course who gave their questions to our 20 lovely candidates. All right, a 2% of the certificate of appreciation to our media partner. May I call on the executive chairperson of the 18th Malayong Festival, Mr. Richard Siligad, together with our reigning Miss Puerto Princesa, Miss Jemima Joy Zabala. Can I have the certificate please? Alright, before we proceed to the awarding of our Certificate of Appreciation, let me read to you the content of this certificate. 
This certificate of appreciation is hereby given to for their active participation during the Miss Puerto Princesa 2022 press conference held this for February 19, 2022 at the U Hotels and Resorts Puerto Princesa and in their invaluable support as one of the official media partners for the 150th founding anniversary of our city and our, of course, the 80th Balayan Festival. Given this 19th day of February 2022 at the U Hotels and Resorts of Puerto Princesa, northbound National Highway, Barangay San Manuel of Puerto Princesa City. Signed by our Executive Chairperson of the 80th Balayan Festival, Mr. Richard C. Ligad. And the Certificate of Appreciation is hereby given to palawanderer.com. is also given to Palawan News. And the same certificate of appreciation is hereby given to PIA Palawan. is also given to DYPR Atendia. And the same certificate of appreciation is hereby given to DYSP 909 Superagio Palawan. is also nearby given to Critical Beauty Philippines. And the same certificate of appreciation is also given to Legendology 101. given to City Information Office. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, our media partners and friends for tonight. Thank you so much, of course, to our uh, Executive Chairperson of the 18th Balayan Festival, Mr. Richard C. Ligat. And of course, to our reigning Miss Preta Princesa, Miss Jemima Joy Zabala, for awarding our certificates to our media partners and friends. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, I think we are now excited to see once again our lovely candidates. Are they all now ready? Can I see a confirmation? All right, but at this point in time, I am uh, inviting everyone, of course, to please do not forget to use our official hashtags uh, for uh, tonight's event, which are hashtag, of course, Miss Puerto Princesa 2022, hashtag Abala 18th Balayong Festival, and of course, hashtag 150th Founding Anniversary. And of course, uh, please uh, use that. Use that whenever you post a picture, stories, and of course in the different uh, social media platforms. All right. All right. So just continue sitting back and relax, and I'll be right back after a short while. Government of Puerto Princesa 
of course, spearheaded by our city mayor, Honorable Lucila Arbayron, and co-presented by Bikisa Puerto Princesa, and of course, our uh, Miss Puerto Princesa chairperson, Miss Judith Rain Bayron. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, our 20 lovely candidates. Beautiful. May we call on Miss Celeste Anna for Mozilla of Palawan News and Miss Ruth Rodriguez of DYPR Palawan. All right, I have now the result with me. And our Miss Body Beautiful is no other than Candidate. She's no other than the candidate from Barangay Santa Monica, Ms. Jonami Mancuca. Award for Face of the Night, Mr. Mark John Rihente, Account Executive of U Hotels and Resorts, Puerto Princesa, and Miss Normalin Dave Abbott of City Information Office. And this year's winner of Face of the Night is no less than Who's Your Bet? All right, I am now here the result. And this year's winner of Face of the Night is no less a candidate. Of course, candidate from Barangay, San Miguel, Ms. Teresa May Bertos. Award for our Miss Puerto Princesa Darling of the Press, we have Mr. Richard C. Liga, Chairperson of 18th Balayo Festival, Woo! and Miss Jemima Joy Zapala, reigning Miss Puerto Princesa. Woo! And this year's winner of Darling of the Press is no less than the candidate from Barangay. Our darling of the press is no less the candidate from Barangay Santa Lourdes, Ms. Jonali Caliendo. Resorts 
Puerto Princesa, our official venue partner for tonight's event. Thank you so much for the warm welcome, of course. And to know more about their offers and packages, check their official website at puertoprincesa.theuhotel.com. And to the members of the press, dinner is going to be served, of course, at the Laud Restaurant. Well, of course, we are going to enjoy the rest of the night. You can also do some photo ops after this with your friends and, of course, with our lovely candidates. Again, on behalf of the Malayong Festival and Miss Puerto Princesa Organizing Committee, thank you for coming to this event. And we hope you all love the show. Once again, I am Harley Quisarvato, your host, saying when the time is right, the Lord will make it happen. See you all and happy 80th of the Malayong Festival and good night.